This is the Boston Basher. If you hit someone, they bleed. If you miss, you bleed. Simple. But melee attacks don't happen instantly. When you physically left click your mouse, there is a 0.25 second delay before your melee attack actually comes out in game. So doesn't that mean it's technically possible to miss without missing? If at the moment you physically left click, you really would have hit someone, but your target managed to disappear before your melee attack could come out. You didn't miss, but also missed, haven't you? You could say that's just too bad, but Valve decided that this was unfair and implemented a forgiveness check. As soon as you left click, the distance between the scout and any living opponents is measured. If there is an opponent in close proximity and you end up missing, then the miss is forgiven. This is the furthest you can stand from a target to qualify for forgiveness. For comparison, this is the standard melee attack range. But the check is as simple as it sounds. It only cares about distance, there's nothing else to explain. So you could be looking in a completely different direction and you will continue being forgiven. As long as there is someone close enough to you when you first left click, you will not bleed. Whether you entirely miss, they end up moving away, or they die. Fun fact, somehow that last one wasn't always true. The basher used to not forgive you for trying to hit someone who was about to die. This bug was in the game ever since the Boston basher was added, and fixed only recently with the Jungle Inferno update. Here in my time machine, this is a version of TF2 shortly after the weapon was added to the game. You can see that if I teleport the target away, or swing the basher standing next to the target, I won't start bleeding. Yet, if the target dies as I swing, I bleed. Back to today's version of TF2, if I repeat the same experiment, I won't bleed. Valve fixed. Oh my god, completely managed to miss all of you know, so that's, you know, 